Hey, good morning, Conestoga Valley. I'm Mr. Mayo. And I'm Mr. DePerna, and I evidently don't get to hold the mic. Well, I will pass it to you next time. Look, seriously, we're very honored. Certainly. Okay, honored that we've been chosen to do the interviews with the homecoming court. It's a serious thing, so you all can get to know the girls, uh, their thoughts, uh, and so forth. So pay attention so you can make an educated decision when voting for the queen. And I do just want to say before we begin, uh, as in years past, we have a dynamite group of, of females here this year. We have eight well-rounded young ladies who really, I think, well represent CV. We've got athletes, we've got artists, we've got um, high-performing uh, academics, a little bit of everything. So the bottom line is, take this seriously. Hey, we're here with Emily Phillips. Outstanding, Emily. Hey, you're our first interview, so that's great. Um, so, books. Let's talk books. Favorite book ever or best book you've read recently you might recommend? Well, I just finished the Harry Potter series for the very first time this summer, and I'm totally like a Potter fan now. It's kind of embarrassing how much I love Harry Potter. Not embarrassing at all. Book is a book, and that's a great series. Okay, literacy is one thing, but I think the people at CV really want to know who you are. So let's get down to the core. Approximately how many selfies would you say you take on a given day? Uh, less than one, <laughs> like 0.5. You're in the minority among adolescents, I think. <laughs> that, that was not a serious question. Seriously, how would your family and friends describe you, Emily? Uh, I think they would describe me as independent and like hardworking, and usually I'm pretty like go with the flow, you know. And you would agree with all those adjectives? Sure, yeah. Yeah, I'm curious, as you're no doubt going to be somebody that makes their mark in society, uh, if they make a movie about you one day, who would play you in the movie among the current Hollywood elite? Beyonce. Beyonce. Outstanding. Okay, good. Um, and that leads to the next question, naturally, who's your Jay-Z? Um, no one at the moment. <laughs> you heard it first. <laughs> Uh, we only have time for about one more question here. So, Emily, you're a big bad senior now. You've been here for four years. Yeah, that was good <laughs> swag there. Um, could, do you have any advice for the, for the underclassmen who are watching here? Any, any pearls of wisdom for them? Well, I mean, it sounds super cliche, and I'm sure everyone says it, but you just have to be yourself and be comfortable in your own skin because otherwise, like, you're not trying to make everyone else happy. It's you. It's you you have at the end of the day. I don't think that's cliche at all. You heard it here. This is the real Emily Phillips. I don't want another pretty face. I don't want just anyone to hold. I don't want my love to go to waste. I want you and your beautiful soul. Hi, I'm Mr. DePerna here with my Viking friend, and we have uh, our next candidate for homecoming queen. I'm Aaron Rutt. Welcome, Aaron. Our first question for you is this. I'm going to check my script. <laughs> you got all the time the what song, when you're driving along in your car, and I'm sure this is how you drive, what song is it that you turn way up and you have no qualms about rolling the window down and just blasting it? Um, probably Amnesia by Five Seconds of Summer. I'm sure some younger people than I know what that song is. A couple of things. I'm sure, actually, she drives 10 and 2. And I like how you did this for roll down the window, like anybody oh has manual God. windows oh anymore. Okay. That <laughs> All right. <laughs> Enough jocularity. I, I want to get serious for a moment here, Aaron. What is it that you're truly passionate about? You know, it's you know, sometimes young people get called for being kind of apathetic. Do you have a passion? Um, well, probably like my faith and spending time with my family and field hockey. Faith, those field hockey, yeah. and family. And <laughs> yeah, three nice, very alliterative. Alliteration, <laughs> yeah. folks. All right, great. Mr. DePerna, you have more questions? In, in keeping with literacy, uh, not at all. Um, what would you say your, your most embarrassing moment is from high school? Think, think long and hard now. Just from you high ready? school? Just from high school. Okay. Um, <laughs> probably, well, like, I have this weird disease in my eye last year and like I had to take medicine that made my cheeks like huge so like for a straight three months probably everyone that made contact with me asked me if I got my wisdom teeth out so I like looked like a chipmunk for three straight months but, but you got through it and here you are and, and you look beautiful 
Thank you. <laughs> I sympathize. My cheeks look like it all the time, but it's mostly fat and cholesterol. Um, <laughs> emphasis here in the School on Literacy recently. What's your favorite book of all time or the best book you've read recently? Uh, Safe Haven by Nicholas Sparks. Definitely. Outstanding. Thank you very much for your time. I'm sure everybody enjoyed getting to know you. Hey, good morning, everyone. We're here with Callie Lap. Callie Lap, hey, it's nice to meet you. I don't know you. You've dodged me for four years. Um, hey, one of our first questions here for you is, of all American history, who is your favorite Secretary of the Interior? Um, I don't know. <laughs> As I can't, I can't name but one or two either, and I teach history. Um, seriously, let's let's talk literacy and books. Uh, what is your favorite book of all time, or the best book you've read recently? You might recommend to your fellow students. Uh, I like any Nicholas Sparks book, but definitely The Last Song is a good one. Fantastic. Appreciate that. I might check that out. Mr. DiBerna? Nicholas Sparks appears to be popular among this crew. So. Uh, let's, let's take one, an, an easy one for you. Let's take it down a little bit. Um, what song do you turn way up when you're driving in the car on the way to school? Um, I like Fancy by Iggy Azalea. <laughs> who, who, who that? <laughs> I G G Y. <laughs> oh, do that, do that. Uh, it, it is indeed great. That's a song I actually know this time, so that's better. Um, when you leave CV as a as a senior here, you got to be looking to the future. How are you going to make your mark on the world in the future? Um, I hope to make my mark uh, by helping one person at a time. I want to become a physical therapist, so helping people recover from injuries, and then hopefully I'll make my mark through helping those people. Marvelous. Thank you, Mr. DeBerg. Okay, we know how you'll make your mark now. Uh, do you have any, any parting words of, of wisdom or advice for the underclassmen here at CV who are glued to the television right now, watching you, waiting for some pearls of wisdom? Uh, probably just make the best of your high school years because it goes really fast. Well put. Thank you so much, Kelly. Hey, good morning, CV, and we are here with Hannah Kochanowski. Hannah, Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, answer our questions, you will. Uh, all right, Hannah, what is the the best book you've ever read, or the best book you've read recently? You might recommend to students here at CV. About a year ago, I read The Glass Castle, and that was a really good book. It was about this girl growing up in her life, and I don't know. I just find people's lives very interesting. So yeah. Fantastic. Thank you. Okay, we know that you're an academic and you like to read, but let's see if we can find out a bit more about your, your vulnerable side, we'll say. What was your most embarrassing moment in all of high school? Well, I've had a lot, but my freshman year, I was minding my own business, taking my tray up at lunch, and I ran into one of those poles, and I thought it was a person. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. And it was right in front of all of the seniors, and I was humiliated. Mortifying, I can imagine, but now you're a senior. Yes. so. You've been there, done that. Do you have any Do you have any words of wisdom for, for the freshman who's wandering about the cafeteria or any underclassman, really? I would honestly say just enjoy every moment. Again, everyone has said it. It flies by, but we are not lying when we say this. You know, high school is or high school is supposed to be the best moment of your life, so enjoy it. Yoda, anything to add? Uh, I would like to point out, Hannah. I don't know you very well, but poles are people, as are Czechs, Germans, and everybody else. Uh, what is it you're most passionate about? I'm really passionate about lacrosse, um, spending time with my friends and family. I really like art and I like leading people. So. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Now you got a little window into the soul of Hannah. When I see you. Hi, we're we're here finding out what <laughs> Lily beamed her. <laughs> what Lily knows about the force. Um, Lily, of the seventh, eighth, and ninth Star Wars movies, which one's your favorite? The ninth, because it's over. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trick question. There've only been six. But thanks for playing. Um,
<laughs> Let, let's go to something a little more academic. Um, favorite book ever or the best book you've read recently? Um, I would say like a month ago, I finished 28 and a Half Wishes, and it's kind of a mystery about a girl that has visions of her dying. So it's really good. It's on iBooks, though, so I don't know if it's a hardcover, but. Still, it's outstanding. Most students would have access to that. Thank you. Oftentimes, books are made into movies. And since I don't know you very well, Lily, Lily, is it? Yeah. Could you, uh, could you tell us what, if a movie was made about the life of Lily, who's going to play the role of you, Lily? Um, probably M Melissa McCarthy, the girl from Bridesmaids. Oh, the girl from Bridesmaids. Yeah. Which bridesmaids was? She, which bridesmaid was she? She, that she was. Stuff thing yeah, 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 th yeah. Um, she's the weird one. <laughs> oh, you sold me. I'd 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 pay twelve fifty for a ticket to see that. <laughs> All right, Lily. What is it uh, you hope to do in the future that would make your mark on the world? Um, probably with my career. I'm going for nursing to college, so I hope to make a mark on the patients that come in that I take care of and that I form a connection with them while they're in their stay at the hospital. Fantastic. Admirable. That's great. Hello again. We're here with Emily Ho. Hello, Emily. Everyone is dying to know. Everyone falls into two categories in this world. You're either a Beatles person or an Elvis person. So which are you? I'd have to say Beatles. That's a perfect answer. Seriously, though, something more academic? If you had to pick your favorite book, or just one of the books you've read most recently, um, which, which book would it be? I'd pick If I Stay. I know like it just came out in the movie theaters, but I just read the book um, actually like last month, and I really like it because it like talks about how like this girl, she gets in a car accident, and like she has to choose whether or not to live or not. And yeah. And like I, I choose live every time. Live. Yeah, and so it's just kind of like her like thought process um, throughout the whole book on like whether or not she chooses to like live without her family or to like die without her like boyfriend. Hmm. Sounds intriguing. I'll look into it. Thank you. Most importantly, here in rural and agricultural Lancaster County, tomatoes, fruit or vegetable? People say fruit, but I'm going to go with vegetable. I agree with you, as, as you well know. Um, in the future, making your mark on the world, how do you plan on doing that? Well, I want to go to mu uh, college for music education because I really want to become a teacher and like I love music, so why not just mix the two of them together? That's fantastic. I know you're passionate about music and teaching great pro profession. You never hear me knock it. Emily, you sound perfect thus far, so maybe let us in on a, on a little secret. Have you ever been embarrassed? Can you tell us your most embarrassing moment here at CV? Can I have one for middle school? Because it's... I, I suppose we'll make an exception for well, you. Well, <laughs> I kind of have to act this out, so like, don't judge me. So Never. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. Ni neither would four 1,400 people. I know, right? And so I was like at one of the middle school dances. Just starts off awkward there. And like, it's really dark and the strobe lights are going. So like, I'm walking and there's this person in front of me. And I think they're like, you know that like awkward shift you do like when you try to like get around a person? Very well. And so you're like going like this and you're just going back and forth. Well, it turns out I was doing that, and then like after a few times, I realized they weren't moving. So <laughs> I was basically like standing there. They were like just standing there, and I was like going back and forth towards them, and I just walked around. I was like mortifying. That's yeah. <laughs> We've all been there. I bet you have. You're you're human, Emily Ho. Thank you so much. Best of luck to you. Okay, we're here with Emily Patrick. Another Emily. Welcome, Emily. Oh, let's let's get right to it. I heard you're a science person, so I've been dying to know. Uh, it's probably fresher in your brain than it is in mine. Why is it that glue doesn't stick to the bottle? It's special. I don't know. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, I think I think the bird has a more. More challenging question for you. Okay. I'd, I'd say something else funny about science, but I don't have anything. And y yes, I know what you're thinking, Emily. <laughs> I should have bought a falcon, <laughs> but I have one and you don't. Um, let's talk. Let's talk academics. Let's talk books, literature. Okay. 
okay. best book you've ever read or the best book you've read recently that you might recommend to others? And Nicholas Sparks has already been taken. No, no, no. Okay, so there's this book that I'm absolutely passionate about. Like, I love this book so much. It's called The Perks of Being a Wallflower. And it's about this boy and, like, his struggles through going through high school. And it's so real. And, like, I honestly feel like if I could, I would have lunch with Charlie, the main character. Didn't they make a movie out of that with Hermione in it? Yeah. Or what's her name? Uh, the, Emma, the, uh, Emma. Emma. Okay, as opposed to Emily. <laughs> yeah. Okay, very nice. Very apt. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of the struggles that, that we go through in high school, uh, mm. you've been there, done that. You're the, you're the senior. You're the big cheese now. Any, uh, any words of advice for the underclassmen? <laughs> I'm having trouble focusing because uh, there's a man stroking a falcon with a leather glove yeah. on, your, on your right. Yeah. For protection, you have to wear the leather glove. Right. Naturally. Right. Naturally. Uh, so you've had time to think about this now. Mm. Any pearls of wisdom for our underclassmen? Um, it's really, really easy to doubt ourselves um, in everything we do. So just try your best to be confident in everything you do and just don't doubt yourself. Just go after it. Excellent advice. When you leave high school, how are you going to make your mark on the world? Well, currently I want to be a psychologist and um, and I, I know that everybody has is go, goes through some kind of hurt and um, whether big or small and I just want to try my best to make people hurt a little less. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Hey, we're here this morning with Morgan Amadovar. Good morning, Morgan. All right. Hey, first question for you, an academic one. All right. Best book you've ever read or your favorite book you've read recently you would like to recommend? I've just read The Fall in Our Stars, um, and I definitely recommend that book because uh, it's not just about uh, two kids with cancer. They, it's about their life and how beautiful they make it, and I just thought that was really inspiring. So, yeah. Fantastic. I agree. I've read that book also. Good choice. Okay, Morgan, let's lighten the mood here a little bit. And, and if you could answer into my good eye, that would be, that would be perfect. Um, when you're driving into school, and I know you drive like this, what song is it that you turn way, way up? Gold Digger by Kanye West. Oh, I, I can't remember how it goes. The, start it for me. Uh, she take my money. Yeah, when I'm in need. Yeah, she's a... Yeah. Okay, uh, let's go back to the academics because I don't think we have a career in this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Morgan, as you know, chickens, very passionate. Okay, what is it that you have as a hobby or that you're very passionate about? And be sure to speak into the chicken when you answer. Uh, I'm really passionate about softball. <laughs> I, I've been playing ever since I was six, and it was always my dream to play in college. So, yeah, that's what I really enjoy doing. You're playing in college? Yeah. I'm playing at Wagner College in New York. Outstanding. Fantastic. Yeah, congratulations. Okay, now's your chance. Some pearls of wisdom, some advice. The underclassmen are watching, and you've been here, done that. So let's, uh, let's give them some, some advice. Um, some advice that, you know, I've learned uh, just to challenge yourself and, you know, and push yourself to, you know, the limits that you wouldn't even know that you can get there. And, and you'll get there, and you're, you know, you're going to have a great high school career. So, yeah. Words of wisdom from Morgan Almodovar. Thank you. Ready? Yeah. Don't worry about a thing. Whoever wins, wins, right? Yeah. This is the homecoming court. And Let's seven people it. lose. Who cares? <laughs> Yoda's giving me a wet willy. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm about